Statistics in Schools, or SIS, is a free educational program created by the U.S. Census Bureau. We offer over 200 student-friendly resources and activities that use census data. In this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate the SIS website and get to our resources at census.gov forward slash schools. When you come to our homepage, you'll notice we've placed tabs up top to help you quickly navigate to all our materials. Just underneath, you'll see an orange banner that takes you to the at home and distance learning materials. Back on the home page, as you continue to scroll down, you'll see a calendar graphic and explore here button. Selecting either will direct you to our monthly highlights page. Monthly highlights is a new page that we created to conveniently provide a one-stop shop for all our resources related to the month's events. For this example, in the month of May, there are resources for learning about apportionment, Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, Mother's Day, National Small Business Week, and a few other celebrated national days. Back again on the homepage, scroll down further for other convenient quick links that take you to our classroom activities for subjects such as math, English, history, geography, and sociology, five-minute challenge warm-up activities, and more. Our homepage also provides a link to information about becoming an SIS teacher, ambassador, or partner, and quick access to our most popular data tool, State Facts for Students. You can also subscribe to receive our monthly newsletter, explore videos, and visit the Statistics in Schools Pinterest page. The State Facts for Students data tool is very popular and is a great resource to find kid-friendly data on each of the 50 states. On this page, you'll see the link to launch the tool and a list of activities at different grade levels that use State Facts for Students. Click the link or the map graphic to open the tool in a new tab. Once launched, you can select a state from the drop-down menu or simply click the state of your choice on the map. After selecting a state, students will be able to gather a wealth of knowledge on their state, such as its nickname, total population, the number of kids their age, and how many amusement parks or ice cream shops are in their state. Let's look back at the top navigation options, where there are two tabs that I'll bring to your attention, our activities and resources. First, we'll explore our resources. This is where you can find visualizations, historic photos and documents related to our activities, fun facts, and a lot more. I'm going to quickly show you our fun facts section. Fun facts are student-friendly handouts that tie statistics from the U.S. Census Bureau to holidays, anniversaries, and other observances, and can be used at varying grade levels and across different subjects. While on this page, you can also access the Activities tab, where you can select activities by subject or grade level. Shown here is the landing page for our geography activities. The default tab is All Grades, but you also have the option of selecting different grade levels. For this example, I've selected the Grades K-5 to tab. Then you would simply scroll down, read the teaser text for each of the activities, and select the one you're interested in. All our subject and grade level pages are laid out this way. After selecting an activity, you can read an in-depth overview to see if it's a good fit for your students and or your existing lesson plan. This includes the activity description, suggested grade level, materials needed, time requirements, learning objectives, and skills taught. All SIS activities are meant to supplement what a teacher has already prepared for the classroom. To get started, just click the download buttons for the teacher's guide and the student version. The activities are provided in a PDF format. As you can see here, students will be able to see how human actions and population changes can affect the environment by examining pictures from famous landmarks such as Times Square, the Salt Air Pavilion, Laguna Beach, and Niagara Falls. These photos will help students identify changes, such as the addition of roads and buildings. In addition, students will also explore census data on population. We hope this brief tutorial was helpful in getting you acclimated with the SIS program. We value feedback about our activities and our website. If you have any questions, or if you'd just like to let us know how we're doing, 
please send an email to statsinschools at census.gov.